today I took the Pegasus 36 out for a nice, easy, three mile recovery run. So 3.1 miles, 5 kilometers, nice easy pace, came in at around about 24 minutes. I went out very early morning, it was so calm, so quiet, I hardly saw a soul out on the trail. The perfect relaxed start to the day. I'll be taking the Pegasus 36 out for another longer run of around 10 miles tomorrow, so stay tuned for that one please guys. I'll be answering some more of your questions on the Pegasus 36 in that video as well. So today I wanted to give you a race update for June, I've entered about 3 races during this month. I've got some targets set in mind for each of those races, so I'm going to give you a rundown on those right now. First up is the Heron Half Marathon, that's happening on June the 9th. This is a relatively flat course. It forms part of the Yeovil Marathon event. Uh, I think the Heron Half Marathon takes in one lap of the Yeovil Marathon course. It kicks off again in Yeovilton. I think a lot of these events are run out there because the area is relatively flat and much better for running. There's lots and lots of hills in Yeovil, so I think that's why they tend to avoid organising the events around here. So taking into account my Yeovil half marathon time of around about 1 hour 35 minutes, I really would like to think that I can push and get below that, maybe by a minute or two, uh, on a much flatter course. Let's not forget the Yeovil half marathon does feature quite a difficult last five kilometers there's lots of hills it really did slow me down so i think i've probably got it within me to get to that maybe one hour 33 one hour 34 mark i'll be over the moon if i can manage to achieve that let's hope conditions are ideal and favorable but i do have a feeling there could be some rain that day hopefully the temperature will be a little bit lower i'm not too worried about the rain um i, I kind of like actually running in those conditions not too much though I will be using the Gakuso Vaporfly 4% and we all know the traction isn't great on wet road conditions in those shoes. I shall break down my Heron Half Marathon race plan with you a little later this week. Towards the middle of the month, on Sunday, June the 16th, is the Immortal Sport Martok 10K. Again, this is a relatively flat course. Do I have it in me to beat my uh, sub 44 minute 10k that I set at the Easter Bunny uh, back in April? I don't know, we'll soon find out. It was a very, very demanding 10k race um, where I set that personal best. It was incredibly hot, uh, lots of runners were having all sorts of difficulties in the heat. Um, I found it a particularly difficult race in, mentally really to try and keep going uh, after three or four k. I really wanted to give up, it was just so hot and I could see other runners of a higher ability than me really struggling. Hopefully we won't have those same incredibly hot conditions. Um, it's very difficult to suggest what the weather could be like right now. Um, it's still a couple of weeks away. So as we get closer to that, I'll give you another update on that race. I will be vlogging at both of those races. So please do stay tuned to the channel. Uh, make sure you've hit that notification bell and you'll receive updates whenever they come out. I'll try and get as much footage in at the half marathon and at the Martok 10k as I possibly can. There is another Yeovilton 5k series race happening on June the 12th. I've entered all six of those 5k series races, hoping to improve my 5k time. My times have been 90 minutes 59 at the first race and 20 minutes 12 seconds at the second race. So it is possible that I can improve that 5k personal best time that I achieved at the first race if I can pace myself better over the first two kilometers of the race. That's been my biggest downfall at the first two races of this uh, event series. 
I just go out too fast. I need to show more restraint at uh, the early stages of the race. Before I go, I'd just like to say thank you to all the new viewers and subscribers to the channel. I'm so glad you're enjoying the videos and the content. Please keep liking, sharing and commenting. My name's Ed Budd and I'll be seeing you.